So we kind of get to play whatever we need to in these games. Oh, a rare drop. A rare drop by Drew Smith. I forgot to check JB Beard's stats against Rutgers. JB Beard's PFF grade's like a 98 this year. He's thrown one interception. He's got, I think I've thrown one turnover worthy. God. Just another freaking seed. Got a little hurry up here. How good is my bend? Oh, I do. Uh, do you guys know what TRX is? I do TRX once every two weeks. So I got some bend. I have like a D minus bend grade on my draft board. My press. My press would be okay. My press would be... Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was almost disturbing. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get an arm measurement. I feel like I have decently long arms. I bet I have like 31 inch arms would be my guess. Oh, geez. Thanks for the fumble recovery, Salinas. Yeah, Panda, I get real grabby. We're going to run a speed option with JB Beard. Better prospect, me or KJ Costello? I got a better processor. He's probably got me beat on arm strength. We're both equally out of shape. Ah. Thanks for the follow, Tano Goat. Tango Goat. Wow, they're saying go for it. Our kicker is still very young. We'll just say that. Drew Smith, let's get out here. Oh, come on, Hayes. I definitely do not stack corners. I would not be a speed threat at receiver, that's for sure. I don't know if my 5'8 speed, if that, would translate. Ooh, okay, we're going to Smith. No matter what. Oh my God, what a pick. That one's not on JB Beard. That was a hell of a play by that corner. Wow. Jeez. All right, we gotta focus. Down 14, nothing. Not trying to lose out on both the national championship and the Rose Bowl here. Oh, almost. Me or Sage Surratt? It's close. 
we'd both be in the bottom 15 of 75 on uh, my receiver board. I'm just kidding. I think Surratt's in the 40s. Let's pick up the pace here. This Badgers defense is making plays right now. Jeez. It's funny, Trill. I was just thinking about Madden. I uh, almost have the receivers done for my next-gen roster. I'm going to probably do a uh, start a new rebuild. Uh, in May after the draft after I get the roster all done but it's going to depend who has a sick draft but the Jets are, are maybe the front runner right now because they'll still have a bunch of picks next year too Touchdown. Go, Drew Smith. Come on. Unhook the plow. I feel like we could just go five wide with JB Beard and shred these guys all day. Are we sure the Panthers would have gotten Trevor Lawrence if they started P.J. Walker? Oh, gosh, come on. We need that reach-out animation. It's a good play by Soden. All right, this should be an easy touchdown. Three-man front. Good drive. Okay, defense. Get a stop. There we go. What a run. All right, Kuchki, you're getting the bubble. I think they're going to blitz. All right, they didn't blitz, but they did back off. Oh my gosh, what a tackle. We were gone. I wonder if I hurdled if we could have avoided that. Too easy. Too easy. Man, the JB Beard to Drew Smith connection. They got to recreate it in the NFL. Make them both first rounders. All right, Wisco. Go, baby. Go, baby. Oh, oh. What? What? <laughs> oh, man, just keep feeding them. They're not covering them up the sideline, and Beard has too good of an arm. Oh, no. Man, it's going to be nice to have a dominant offensive line for this young quarterback. Got it. 
If this is open middle of the field, we hit the post. If it's closed, we hit Drew Smith. Open middle. Oh, we got sacked. We had him though, if we let him deep. Damn. Third and 32. Just gonna change this to Verts. Oh my gosh, what is going on? This pass rush just went ape shit. All right, let's go to the next quarter. Good job, D. Beast mode, we just kind of play as we see fit. It's kind of uh, impromptu, improv type of deal when you get to the bowl and the... Uh... Man, that's the kind of throw we get hurt on. Beard's taking some shots out here. Oh, good risk right there. It's going to be nuts to have a fast-ass quarterback next year. Because <laughs> it's not easy to do this with a pocket passer, especially in this game. But it is easy to do that. Let's go. Oh, come on. Oh, just give him the touchdown. Beard's averaging like 15 yards a toss right now. Do we have a... We'll just go inside zone. Oh, man. What a tackle. Look like a defensive end. Gotta just run this. Gotta just run it. We have taken the lead. Big drive here, backed up. Let's get aggressive though. Yeah, press me, you know you want to. Go Torres, go baby. Go all the way. God. Eight mil might not be a bad price for Hassan Reddick, but it sure as hell ain't a good price for him. Especially when you already have Brian Burns and Etor Gross Mato, so you're trying to find out if he's good. Good run, good run. Let's try a little play action Shanahan offense stuff. That's a Shanny classic right there. Is Quincy Roche not getting enough hype? He's a classic speed rusher. <sighs> the thing is, the NFL doesn't really like... Oh, God, I gotta get out. Oh, no. Are you serious? Tackle him. Guys like him 
end up being pretty overrated in the NFL, typically. Guys that have absolutely no power. Danny Kelly on the latest bootleg football podcast made a great point that the the game is changing so much. The quarterbacks are getting rid of the ball so well, uh, so quickly these days, that the speed rushers that need time to like set up moves, that bend around the edge, those guys are dying off because teams are getting rid of the ball so quickly. It's all about just getting pocket pushers, guys that can play the run. Not to mention the Von Millers of the world. They're, they're just they're outliers for guys like that. And not even that. I mean, straight up, like, Von Miller just actually has power. Oh, let's go. See, I disagree, Jack Brown. I actually don't think Quincy Roche has that much potential. I mean, I think best case scenario, you're getting a, you're getting a, a third guy, you know, like a rotational rusher. I, I don't see a world where he becomes a starter. He's like a poor man's Harold Landry, who's a low-end number two. Ooh. First down. Ooh, I don't think he has D Ford upside. I don't think he has D. I, D Ford has some power, and he's just a more explosive player. I mean, D D Ford's like a ball of lightning. I wouldn't describe. Roche is a ball of lightning myself. Like, D4's first step get off is, I don't know, top 10, top 15 in the league. Roche has good get off, like, but he's maybe top 10 in this class. Oh, don't get me wrong, Jack Brown. I'm not, I'm not trying to trash on Her Harold Landry. I thought that was a great pick. I'll take Harold Landry in the second round all day, but I don't think Quincy Roche is going to be as good as Harold Landry. I don't think he's he's got the same athletic traits. Yeah, I agree, Panda. That edge is a sneaky need for Denver. Just because. You don't know how long you can count on Vaughn. Hit it. Oh, are you fucking, are you serious? Does JB Beard have the best arm in the history of football? That throw is nasty. Oh, man. I could see that, Panda. Peyton Turner is a not my guy. He just has a long, long ways to go. Oh, man. All right. Let's finish this, this off. We can convert this. Third and 24, it's nothing for JB Beard and the boys. Man, this Wisconsin pass rush is not fucking around. Let's play some defense. Really? People are putting Peyton Turner in the second round in this class? 
God, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. I like him in like the fourth. I think I thought about him once. In my third round mock. Pick it. Oh, it was in your hands. Hey, thanks for the gifted sub, Trill Shammy. Nice tackle. Sergeant Butt Whoopin gets the sub. <laughs> The Cisco pick was brutal? What was brutal about it? Oh, Eshman, let's go. House it. Brett has Turner as edge three? Wow. I'll have to investigate that. Above Pay and Rousseau. Wow. Yeah, I'm just not a big Patrick Jones guy, Geometric Heat. He's traitsy, but he, he has terrible balance. He doesn't play with the power that he's capable of. Wow. Talk about power. Look at that block. Brevin Jordan blurb. You got it. We'll get it in the loading menu. All right, we should be safe. JB Beard celebrates the end of a perfect regular season. We are on to the natty. Okay, Brett has Tryon second. I, I'm rising on Joe Tryon. I want to take another look at Joe Tryon. I watched... I watched one of his games when I was making dinner. I think I might be a little low on Tryon. I might. It it it's sad. It pains me to say this, but I'll. I think I'm gonna end up pushing Tryon up above. Probably both OA. He'll. I think he'll end up at six. I'll probably be close between him and Ronnie Perkins. But I'll probably push him above Bosham, my dude Sample, and uh, Owe. Is is kind of where I'm leaning right now. I think I'm gonna watch one more game of his, but I think I'm sleeping on him. He was an opt out guy, so he's easy to fl fly under the radar. Five hundred and thirty yard day. I, oh, but three touchdowns for for Ash Soden, Leo Kuchki. Damn. This Heisman race is gonna be tight, but I think one of our guys will get it. We got robbed. Matt Allen. Dude, he only he only threw for two thousand yards. That's that's some freaking BS. Dang, Eshman ran the Chuck Benarek award. That's nice. JB Beard won everything but the Heisman. What the heck, dude? Dang, Eshman wins two awards. We won Coach of the Year. I'm only not adding these because it takes takes longer to save. That's true. This game, it, it, they do hate on us. We had to run the gauntlet of the Big Ten and knock off a bunch of top teams. The sad thing is if we lost that game, we still probably wouldn't have gone to the national championship, even though Florida lost two games. I want to see our end-of-season stats before we do this. Dude, Beard was 1,000 yards more than the next guy. How the hell do you not give him 
the Heisman. Soden has 22 touchdowns, just rushing. Another three receiving. Drew Smith, Leo Kuchski finished strong. Defensively, one of these years we'll get a 10 sack player. But pass rush has never been our strong suit. Look at Eshman, four picks. I love it. Our defense next year is going to be insanity. I think we'll have a 99 defense. Not sure about the offense, but it's going to be close. All right, let's take down Florida. They're a 99 everything. This won't come easy. All right, deal, Sergeant Butt Whooping. We'll play whatever we need to in this one. And starting next year, we'll have, we'll have harder rules. Get rid of it. Ah, damn. I wanted some more time to throw there to see if that deep post was going to set up against the open middle of the field, and it definitely did not. What's up, Cowboys rule? Oh, the running back got caught up on the D tackle. They blitzed. It was a good call. Oh, what a dime. I'm going to miss that 99 speed on the outside. That's for damn sure. Should we hit him back-to-back -back plays? Oh, man, this pass rush. I had the seam wide open. O-line is definitely our weakness this year. It's going to be nice moving forward, though. Dude, what a freaking throw from JB Beard on the move. Eric Newman moving the sticks, baby. Former QB. Oh, I thought I changed his. I must not have saved. I thought I added a, a glove to him. Maybe it didn't save. Yes, beast mode. Our offensive line recruiting class last year was absurd. We had, like, just a stupid good recruiting class last year. So, we are, uh, we are set at offensive line for the future. We had a freshman at every position. They were all, like, 77 or higher. And I think, yeah, I think we redshirted potentially all of them. They won't all play at the same time, but... Newman. I'm excited for Newman to get some nice opportunities next year. He's going to be one of our better receivers. All right, I'm going to go to the second quarter. See where we're at. Came up with a stop down there. That's a good game. Oh, good D. Yeah, beast mode. I feel like red shirting is pretty standard. Especially at a big program that recruits well. Oh! Oof. Oh, ho, 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 that was dangerous. That was dangerous. For them, not for us.
Decent look, decent look. We've uh we've had some recruits play away to, right away. It's not like all those offensive linemen we recruited were five stars. A lot of them were gems. Oh man, good coverage. We've had some uh we've had some freshmen play. We we played our running back as a as a freshman. Oh, dude. That was straight out of Jordy Nelson's playbook right there. Catch the nine route, juke inside. That was his signature. Oh, dude. You can't leave him that wide open. The Willie Wright slander. That's right, Panda. I wonder if Ash Soden, uh, I wonder what his draft projection will be. So anyone that's a third round projected pick or higher, I have to let go. By our rules. Brandon in the house. What's up, middle linebacker? Oh, kick it. Let's go, Soden. Woo! Go, baby. Damn, he's got breakaway speed. If he comes back, it's going to be like some Najee Harris type of shit. Senior year, just go off. Oh, X was screaming open there. That's right, JB. Best combo since PB&J. Although, I might say Drew Smith and JB Beard might be a better combo. I'm going to go screen. Oh, but they're blitzing. Let's just hit Maximino Torres. Oh, no blitz. Man, lucky drop pick. They showed they showed blitz and then they didn't bring it. Okay, we're in control so far. Let's skip this defensive look. All right, 96 yard drive opportunity. Gosh, they're showing, they're loading the box. I mean, we can hit a freaking Drew Smith touchdown here for 96 yards. Or we can get sacked. All I want is like three seconds to throw it so that I can load up and launch the damn thing. And our offensive line is not holding up. Florida's... We're playing right into Florida's hands, I should say. Oh, that's not where I wanted to spin. Hey, nice, Brandon. That's dope. You gotta tag me in a picture of you wearing it so I can retweet it. Oh, I think I screwed that up by switching onto him. The blitz came in, I had to just throw it somewhere. We stacked the receiver on the outside, but it was, I screwed it up.
There you go, Drew Smith. Don't forget, everyone, you can get TFG merch now. Okay, Blitz is on. God damn. Making slow decisions today. At least in this game. Four sacks for that defensive end. What the heck? Block, guys. Block. That's why we need to block. <laughs> I'm trying to dodge the ankle tackle. Good call in the play action. I mean, they're pressing us all day. Oh, let's go. What a dime from JB Beard. Oh, man. Burning him deep. Oh, geez. A couple drop picks in this game. That would have been a heck of a play, though, by the D back. Step up, I ran into my guard. Just trying to climb the pocket. Man, our freaking line is getting eaten alive. Alright, Tobias Wenzel's gotta have a touchdown here, right? We'll take that. Move the chains. Uh, no late night stream tonight, Big Dalt. I'm going to get through the offseason after this. And then uh, wrap this thing up. I, uh, I I still have a lot of work to do tonight, actually. Going to do some work on the Madden roster, actually. And potentially finish up the draft board. I have 30 safeties to do, so I don't know if I'm going to get through all them tonight, but... Jeez, nice hit. Dude, we are having the frickin' Justin Fields game right now. The Justin Fields Clemson game. Roasting these guys deep. Keep it coming. We're just having fun at this point. That was dumb. That was a dumb throw. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Getting cocky. JB Beard's going to have to explain that one at the combine. So why'd you throw this one, JB? Oh, I don't know. I was just fucking around. We were kicking their ass, so figured why not. I was th I'm going to throw a 99-yard touchdown on the next play anyway, so who cares? Or get sacked for my second safety. Jeez. They're still nowhere close to coming back, but... Soden's just going to put this game away, it looks like. GG's. GG's. Dude, that was a... Soden had a great game. He probably had 200 rushing yards. He played pissed off, too. I feel like... Whatever Soden's round projection is, we should let him go. Because he had, he had a great year. He would for sure leave to go pro.
I just want JV Beer to be a first round pick. Drew Smith finished strong. Eric Newman finishes a freshman All American. Oh man, 22 tackles for Eric Clements in his final game. Oh, I will, Brandon. I will definitely have a Terps centric custom uh, draft class. I gotta jot down like the legends. I think we gotta stay in Maryland, right? Okay, let's do the, uh, can we do our coach skill tree? No, we gotta wait. Okay, players leaving, this'll be interesting. And I'm really hoping these guys don't transfer away. We kind of rolled the dice. Cause we've had some really good players leave. Yes, Kraken. Beard literally has a thousand yards more than the next guy, and he didn't win the Heisman. Insulting. All right, this will be fascinating here. I'm a little nervous. Oh, we got a new offensive coordinator. Don't bail. All right, not too bad. Oh, God, I knew that was going to happen. Fuck. I think we should let Ash Soden leave, to be realistic. Fuck, I knew this was going to happen. All right. Dude, you will pass the ball. 500 times? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, that's bullshit. Well, guess we're moving. Uh... Guess we're moving. Um... God, this game. <sighs> Thanks, EA. Thanks, EA. Thanks, EA. We're moving Eric Newman back. At least he, I mean, he's got 94 speed. But that puts a serious buzzkill on the future of this thing. That's really frustrating. I was really excited for him. But let's see how this goes. Yes, Sergeant Buttwoman. Of course it's the quarterback, too. Anyone else could have left, and I wouldn't have cared. Also, I let Ash Soden go to keep it realistic, because he, be, he would be one of the top running backs. It's just so stupid. Like, that quarterback will accept his red shirt every day of the week in real life. Like, he's got... Also, did Beard... I didn't even check... I didn't even check Beard. I think he was a first round pick, but. So. I'm gonna put. This Chris Haley guy is not even gonna play, so I'm just gonna put all of it on Kurt Campbell and we'll get him. Yeah, we did, uh, we did get some more commits, but just the timing wise on the series, like. I was really looking forward to maybe seeing that guy into the NFL and then call it a wrap. But maybe maybe the Eric Newman storyline of him coming back to quarterback after getting a little bit of a look against Penn State could be enough. I mean, he's he was the guy until he wasn't the guy. He refused to take the damn glove off all year. And yeah, I mean, we could technically, we could just start a true freshman too. We'll we'll see, we'll see what uh, what we're looking at. Maybe that uh, the quarterback that left us, he was pissed 
that uh, we recruited all these quarterbacks. But we did still sign the number one class. No, I'm not letting the walk-on get the chance. Screw him. He's only a 73 overall. He's probably going to get cut. Let him go play somewhere else. So we have the number one recruiting class. Let's let's see who cares about playing time before we get to that point. We go up to six star prestige for the first time. So let's see. So far, nobody cares about playing time, which is good. <laughs> Really? None of these guys... Okay, this guy cares about playing time, but... I don't really care if he leaves either way. Alright, nobody seems to be super fed up about playing time. Uh, Beast Mode, I think the freshman was the number one QB. On the flip side, we're going to have to schedule Boston College and go up against him, because that's where he transferred to. Yeah, Brandon. A whole class of humble and patient prospects. Something we're not used to. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, so both the guys we recruited are pocket passer types. But we did get... Uh, hang on. Oh. 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 Okay, we're fine. We're good, guys. We're good. <laughs> we are freaking good. Oh, my God. He's insane. Yeah, we're fine. I, I see why the guy left now. He's pissed. He's like, I don't want to have to compete against this dude. <laughs> Everything is fine. All right, this dude is a running back for sure. And this dude is probably also a running back. Eh. Yeah. We'll put him at running back for now. So... Yeah, you guys want me to start this guy? I don't think so. <laughs> he played valiantly, but uh, it's going to be Luke Lewis' season. Who actually, I think I still have some patrons to uh, update there. Will Colbert's going to have a nice year here. I'm happy we let, we let Ash Soden go. It would have been fun to see him, but... He was ready for the pros. Eric Newman's going to blow up this year. Tobias Wenzel. We'll have some... Uh, geez, we got a 96 speed freshman down there. Hey, Excuse me. Oh, yeah, we got this guy. Six foot seven. 95 speed. And then on the O-line, you can see how loaded we are. I think we'll just leave everyone where they're at. We didn't recruit a single offensive lineman this year. We finally got a star defensive end. I'm going to start him at left end. We've got to recruit some D tackles this year. Big year for you, Brandon. I'm going to move this guy into middle. So stupid that his awareness goes down. 
I'm gonna fix that. He had 45 awareness. There's no way this guy makes the team, John Jones. Or this dude, what the heck is that? Look at this guy. God, our safety depth is crazy. Okay. Well, it's not the quarterback we thought we were getting, but I don't know if I've ever played a true freshman before. That'll be sweet. You don't get to see, you know, he's going to be like our Trevor Lawrence. Golden boy. I think we can go all the way up here. I think that's a... Uh, oh, Lane Kiffin, let's go! <laughs> Maxed out. He's coming here so he can go be a head coach again. I might have to uh, dip in the next season just a little bit. Maybe play our first game. I'm, I'm excited now. Because it all kind of makes sense, a little more sense, why the guy would leave. Although he'd have to sit out another year, which is really stupid on his end. But he's salty that we brought in all this competition. Dang, Will Colbert, he's like a Tevin Coleman, or a, a Raheem Mostert, 93 break tackle. Jeez, he's going to be nuts. He's going to go off. And then we got Scout Meyer waiting right behind him. Alright, so... Unfortunately, Newman didn't go up in speed like I thought he would, but he's still going to be a stud. Dan Hayes. Tight end room's pretty good this year. Man. I'm super, super tempted to play Tyler Bilodeau instead of Phil Dotzler. I feel like he'll develop so much better. And look at how much he's just like, he's better at like everything. I think I'm going to do that. Or I could play. Man, this whole line's going to be nuts. <laughs> did I hear about Alden Smith? I did. Dude's done. Absolutely done. D, geez, David Johansson's gonna have a year. There you go, Brandon. Man, how does Shyler Coyman go up more than Jack Eshman? After Coyman had all those picks last year. Ten players to cut. I'm going to let Joel Woods go. He stepped up nicely, but... I mean, or, I mean we could just... Nah, I'm going to let Joel Woods go. I'm just going to probably redshirt this dude. He'll probably transfer away, but whatever. Hopefully, in our minds, that guy can go play somewhere else. He's so many running backs. 
I actually think I might cut Maurice Wilkerson here because I don't see I don't see a path for him to get any playing time. Probably Flores too. Although he he's just uh, he's keeping that Louisiana pipeline alive, so we'll keep him. Wide receivers. So many guys. Sheesh. We're going to have to make some difficult cuts. All right. No one's standing out. I think Zach Vaughn, maybe. Eh. All right, DJ Davis, you're gone. I hate to cut Trip with that 97 speed. I might cut Miguel Autry, because he's the fourth corner, he's a senior. We can play Trip if necessary. He would technically be a starter next year, but. All right, this guy's definitely gone. Man, I'm actually, I'm freaking tempted to cut our best safety. Cause we don't even start him. And we got, and we got this guy. Who's ready to go? So I don't think that this corner meets our talent threshold, so I'll let him go. We gotta get we gotta make one running back cut here. I think it's gotta be Flores. The other guys are just going to develop better. We definitely got to cut one receiver. I think it's got to be Chris Cannon. It's the problem when I get all these commits. I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut our best. I'm sorry, Shyler, but Ashman, Ashman was just better. And this just makes, he's not going to play because we want to play Ken Kane. We got this guy too, so just not an opportunity there. And then... Yeah, that, that cut hurts, but I I think that's the best for the future of our team. And then maybe Tyler, time to go there. Yeah. There you go, Aisha. We can pretend he transferred for playing time. On to the preseason.